Well, hey there, YouTube. <clears throat> Y'all having a good weekend? It is Saturday, April the 8th. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start video vlogging. It won't be every day. Uh, I had another channel, and um, I was trying to do a video blog every single day. And that just, it just got to be too much. Um, there were some days where I just didn't have it. You know, I'd be tired, and uh, I just didn't have it in me to uh, sit and edit the videos, put everything together, and get ready to upload. Um, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk about, you know, living in a semi and life on the road, because uh, I spend a lot of time on the road. I uh, And I've done a lot of, done a lot of stuff to make, you know, the inside of the semi uh, as comfortable as possible. Uh, I want to make this a place where I really don't want to leave. Um, just have everything that I need. Uh, and there are days where, you know, I, other than, you know, going to the bathroom, uh, <laughs> there are days where I don't leave the truck at all. So... Yeah, I mean, especially if the weather's bad. But, uh, don't worry, there'll still be some music stuff. But, uh, I will also, you know, talk about different things that I use here in the truck. Uh, you know, like for cooking. And, um, maybe I'll do some product reviews. And maybe I'll do a proper review on my little amp. Because that was kind of stupid to, uh, to talk about that little amp and then not plug it in and demonstrate it. So, uh, Got that to look forward to. And I'll talk about my guitar. And, uh, you know, we'll keep doing some blues stuff. And I'll give some blues lessons here and there and play some music. Uh, I'm going to see if I can come up with some kind of way to uh, do some driving shots. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that or not. Just because it has, kind of has to do with the way this truck is designed and the way the windshield is designed. Um, I've got a split windshield, so I've got a big black seam in the middle of it that separates the left side from the right side and uh, also any place that I could mount my phone I do all this on my phone all the editing everything is done on my Android phone but uh, any place where I could mount the phone that would not be in my field of vision trying to drive is uh, you know it's, it's in a part of the windshield that uh, gets dirty and is difficult to clean because the windshield wipers don't reach it. Um, also, this is the time of year where, you know, windshield's covered in bugs, and uh, I don't know if you want to see that or not, but uh, yeah, we'll try doing uh, video vlogs again with more of my guitar playing and uh, other stuff about living in a semi-truck and uh yeah maybe we'll uh maybe we'll get something going here I'm hoping so so I'm gonna finish my break and I'll see you down the road well I'm down here in Laredo waiting in line at our company yard because uh all of it, this trailer that I'm pulling now is uh, it's going to go down into Mexico, and uh, so before I can take it to the place where uh, it switches companies and goes into Mexico, I have to take it to our company yard and get it inspected. Uh, apparently, there was problems with our trailers going across to Mexico. Things like uh, we come back with different tires and went down there on uh, things like that. So uh, I'll re-inspect all the trailers before they go across the border, and then uh, the people we give them to also inspects them. But uh, yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. It didn't used to be lines like this. I've been with this company now for, uh, well, I just started my sixth year, and uh, there didn't used to be lines like this to get the trailers inspected. But there is now. And uh, I have to be careful. I'm not 
blocking anybody's driveway here on the street while I'm waiting to get in. Last time I was through here, I was blocking somebody's driveway and they got upset and called the company to send me a message on the Qualcomm and uh, I don't know. The problem is that their driveway is less than a truck length away from the stop sign. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> that's the problem. <coughs> so now I'm parked about, <coughs> about a block away from the stop sign, but I can see when the next truck in line moves, and uh, I'll run up there and get it taken care of. As soon as he moves, I'll move up. So uh, I guess I'll talk to you after I get inspected and I make my drop. Okay, notice that angle change? I think I got it. I got a way to uh, be able to show you guys some uh, driving scenery and uh, do everything else I want to do, which is, you know, talk to you like this and, you know, be able to show you guitar stuff. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to do it. I wind up having to use uh, three device mounts. Uh, one of them, uh, I'll tell you what, hang on a second, I'll just show it to you. Okay, that one on the right is my GPS. That one on the left is my really cool and uh, somewhat expensive device mount. Um, what's cool about that one is it will mount not only on glass, but uh, also on rough surfaces because it's got a little bit of glue on that foot. Uh, it's made by Max Mount. I've had that one now for a couple of years, and uh, it's good and sturdy, and uh, it's a real fine unit. This other one that the GPS is mounted on is kind of a cheapie. And I'll show you this. I don't know how well you can see that's kind of in the shadow, but that's another mount right here. That's uh, This one just mounts on an AC vent, uh, so it's also a cheapie. But uh, I will use that for... You know, when I've got the camera pointed at myself and I'm talking to you. And then I'll use that uh, high-end max mount uh, to show you the driving scenery. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. I'll, uh, I'll be able to show you some driving scenery. Uh, start with tomorrow's video because my day's pretty much over today. Uh, I finished up my drop for that trailer that's going to Mexico. And uh, I'm here at the company, back at the company yard now, and uh, they haven't sent me anything. Uh, it's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. I might not get anything. I might, I might just get a 34-hour restart, uh, which would be okay. I can deal with that. I'm pretty tired. I could, I could use one. I've been going on recaps for a while. But uh, if so, then... Uh, I will go ahead and shoot another video tomorrow and uh, probably do, a, I don't know, do another guitar lesson. I've got something in mind. Do another guitar lesson. I'm gonna, I don't know. Maybe I'll do those licks and stuff. Uh, maybe that'll work. Just uh, in these vlogs, I'll just throw in a lick at the end. That might be kind of cool. You like that idea? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just a minute, I'll get my guitar. All right, the lab's getting a little funky. I had to move this over to the other air conditioning vent to be able to show you the guitar and stuff better. But uh, I had to put a shirt up here because I uh, got too much slack coming in there. Anyway, this lick kind of goes along with the last lick, which was the last one. Right? And this one. Uh, in the same position down here, so I'm talking, let's see, uh, we're in the, uh, this box. So we're, uh, that's nine on the, uh, G string, eight on the B string, ten on the B string,
string, that's your tonic. Eight on the E string and ten on the E string. And then with your fifth. Uh, no, excuse me, that's your fourth. This is your fifth. But uh, it's important to know all those. Got a fifth up here too. But uh, we're not going to be using that one. This lick kind of goes off of that first, the other one I showed you. All right, then you continue that. So what's going on there? Uh, I'm starting here. Uh, fret number eight on the E string, and uh, just go right up to ten, and then I bend the E string. But I'm not going very far. I'm kind of going to that flat five, just a half step bend. Uh, it's going all the way up to the five. You could go all the way up to the five. I mean, that would sound okay. But, uh... Um... So... So, uh... Play it before you... Before you stretch it. Stretch it. And then bring it down and hit it again. Then... Back to uh, fret eight on the E string and nudge that just a little bit. That's the minor third. And if you nudge it just a little bit, not all the way up, not a full half step, just kind of a quarter step, you get that in-between note. It's good. That's your true blue note. That's that's the sound that makes it the blues, right? So uh. Double tap that uh, the tonic for the end. So the whole lick, that'd be like bar one. The bar two, right? You got it. Okay. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time because I'm gonna cook something to eat and get the sack.